All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are playing some Ezreal in the mid lane. We're running Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball, Treasure Hunter, Absolute Focus, and Gathering Storm. We're going to go full AP, one shot Ezreal. This build is going to consist of a Man Immune first into a Luden second, and then Shadow Flame, Death Cap third. And with all these items, we max W, then we E in. We don't even have to land the Q, and we can one shot people. It's a very fun build, but it does take some time to get online. The reason we go the Man Immune first because all these abilities scale with AD also, plus the extra mana uh, gives us more AD from the Ludens and stuff. And we just won't run out of mana. Plus, it's our wave clear. If you just go straight into Ludens, you'll have a hard time uh, farming. So the mana immune gets you through early game. And then you could also build like a Lich Bane later if you wanted, but... I like playing around the WE combo. It's just so fun to see people instantly die. Although they have two champs that can block my combo. I don't like that. Oh, hey, look, a Nunu. Oh, yeah, I'm just looking to chill and farm for... I don't know. Till I get my items. We could still kill Ari early, but I do have a tier start, so... I'm really just looking to stack it up with my Q. Nice little combo for a harvest there. She didn't have charm. I think she got her W, so I was just safe to go in there. But yeah, downsides of this build is uh, W and E have pretty long cooldowns, so if you miss your combo, you got a bit of downtime. And also, if you go in with E and you don't kill them, you have no way of getting out. Samira died. That's good. I think this guy's dead too, yeah. Not bad. Have I missed a minion yet? Might have missed one when I went in to combo her. Alright, two points W. I'm probably not going to go in for a WE combo till I have like a few points in it, just to like surprise her. Because it will get her down low, but I don't think we'll have kill pressure. And we do have an Ash, so she could arrow into my ult. We're at perfect CS, that's cool. I'll try to maintain this as long as I can. What she should be doing in this matchup is hard shoving me because Ezreal doesn't have wave clear. Like if she pushes me under turret, I'm not going to be able to poke her because there'll be too many minions standing in front of me. But I guess if she pushes up, she gets new nude. So, But at level six, she can get away from anything. Might have to start putting my life in danger for some of these minions. So the full combo is you hit them with W, then you E in, auto attack, and then try and Q. And then your alt can go anywhere. She's going to try and stand in front of us, I think. Wait, I'm farming so well. I've never done this good before. I could maybe kill her. If he gets the root. Oh, rip, she flashed. I would have killed her if she didn't flash, though. see if this it'll be I'm starting to get pushed in I might need to alt the wave when I'm six I rarely know what I'm looking for but I always find it. <gasps> oh I canceled my auto there I almost missed it oh these are getting close and she's dead one combo does half of her health. It's a power of three points in W, and then the E automatically pops it. It's like heat seeking. What's Graves gonna do? I'm full HP. I'm almost full HP. Well, I think I'm gonna miss a minion when I base. So it's like impossible. Oh! Alright, whatever. Hey, we got 53 in a row without missing one.
It's a new record. All right, now we're missing them all. But really, I, I just want to get this wave into turret. I need to base. I'll take it. All right, 59 CS, it's six minutes. I have 2K gold. Let's do this, 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 and we still have two potions. I mean, you need to go to Gromp. When did I go to Gromp? Oh, nice. These die in one auto. See, if we didn't have the AD here also, I wouldn't be able to farm these. It's worth, like... This is the best early game we could probably... I mean, it'd be better if we got, like, three kills early, but I mean... Farming this well already put me over a kill up on Ari, so... If I kill her, now I'm up two kills worth of gold on Ari, and it's only seven minutes in, so... I've essentially already won lane phase just by playing safe and farming. Like, I didn't even poke her all lane. I did once to get a harvest stack, and then the next time I go in, she just dies from 60%. I'll try and poke her or combo her again. Look at that. Boom. Now I have 20 seconds on my dash though, so if Graves ganks me, I can die here. But if you spam your Q, it will lower the cooldown of all your spells by 1.5 seconds. I fucked that up so bad, I'm not even gonna flash. I tried to like E behind her, but I, I went right into the charm. I should have just ran. That's okay, though. Um, I'm not going to buy anything here. I want to get the man immune first. Rushing boots is really bad when we're doing physical damage. Oh, he's got her. Do I get an assist? If Graves wasn't there, I think I would have lived. But Graves hit me with everything. We are still weak early. Yeah, she held her charm. That always gets me. At least the wave's not messed up. I can just go back to farming. That was just misplay by me. It's okay though, we scale. Ari's not gonna build like a tank item. I hope she doesn't build crown. If she rushes crown, I'm gonna cry. Although I don't think crown will even stop her from not getting one shot, cause like, I think my W will pop the crown and then I just wait. Then I hit her. I feel about Talia next patch. I think she's going to be good. I think she's probably going to get, like, hot, hot fix nerfed or something. Because Talia is already kind of strong, just nobody plays her. She's getting a pretty big buff. Don't do it. How did that hit me still? I still won that trade very hard. I wonder if my W alt kills her here. Oh, so close. I think that would have. Nah, that wouldn't have killed her. 405 plus 600. Nah, it'd leave her really low, though. I'll keep my health topped off. Let's also ward because Graves could be around. Now she's starting to push me into turrets, so she's able to do a little bit more. Nice. After I E in like that, it'd be good if she ulted. Bro, just fucking use it already. There you go. She needed to ult in like that as soon as I E'd in. She gave me too much time to back up. <laughs> She's really patient with these charms, though. If she waited an extra, like, second, I would have turned and killed her. Come get She based. Nice. 
got Brom, and we got a grave stack. So, oh, that's Treasure Hunter. So, yeah, I'm running Treasure Hunter instead of Ultimate Hunter. You can run Ultimate if you want, but landing Qs does lower the cooldown of your ult on his, so not that big of a deal. Hitting Ari with our ult, though, is, like, super hard because she's got dashes. Okay, I got a lot of money off that. So I need to base. So I think we we need to ult this wave if I want to base. I'm going to go behind the wall and do it. So maybe I can hit her too. There we go. See, if I did it in front of her, she would have just moved. Okay, the reason we max E second is because it actually does a lot of damage. Like I said, we're not playing around Q. Oh. Uh, I would have stayed, but she's gone anyway. Okay, so what do we got here? We got Man Immune. I think I'm going to go into Lost Chapter. You could get Sork Shoes here now, but I like to wait until I at least have Ludens, because we're still not dealing that much magic damage. Oh, did Ezreal get buffed this patch? I never really looked. Lowered the cooldown of his ult. This way. She's gonna try and all in him. Nice. Oh god. Okay, anything to keep her away. Braum was here too, so. I think they're doing Herald. Can't really stop it though. I never miss, but I have been known to fire a warning shot or two. Really, dude, like Leave me alone. Oh. Let's kill them. I'm chunking him. We just don't have enough damage to quite kill them yet. Ah, uh, that's not good. They have a pink in here too, so I can't even ward. I'm pretty sure somebody was by him. If I go in there and I don't kill him, that's not good. Baraka might die for this. Nice, they left. Alright, we didn't quite get anything out of that. And oh, they never got the Herald. Man Immune's almost stacked up. That'll add me extra damage. Well, the thing is, I think the old Lich Pain would work better for this build, because it did more damage, but it had a higher cooldown. This is very bursty. It's not great robbing if you have nice. Okay, Ash just soloed Samira. 96 to 135. She's kind of catching up in farm, but there's not too much I can do to her. She has jungle pressure. Oh yeah, Ash needs to run. Why is she staying still? I think she lives. Nunu's in the bush over there. I could maybe ult and help him. Nice. Got her with full combo. We can maybe get this guy. She's gonna win wall up. Nighter. Nice. Oh, got a nice flash W there. All right, is that full treasure? Oh, we need Wukong. I'm gonna go base. I got Ludens. I was scared that W wasn't gonna hit him, so I flashed for no reason. 
All right, Ludens. Next is Shadow Flame. I mean, I could save up for boots, but let's just buy the book. Oh, this first tower? That's good, but I think he's dead. Oh, hold on. He shouldn't have ran from his turret because he had no chance of getting away there. He might have actually been able to kill Wu. Now I got the Ludens and Man Immune's almost done. We can maybe get her. Oh, good. She didn't need to flash. Oh my god, look, there it is! Okay, I didn't think I'd be able to one-shot her yet, but look, two items and we just one-shot her. My cannon, no! Okay, I really wasn't expecting to be able to kill her like that, but... That is a power. It's because we have absolute focus gathering, so that's a lot of damage. And then we have eyeball almost stacked up too. Plus the treasure hunter helped me hit this build faster. Graves is bot, so we should try and do this. They have objective bounty. I feel like they're winning. I guess I just have a lot of money. Very wealthy Ezreal. So if I hit her with W, E, Q, I can kill her. I wonder if a W alt kills her. <laughs> that was just W, E auto attack. Didn't even need to go for the Q. See? We scale. That's pretty gross. Uh, Graves is bots. So I'm just gonna use this mid. I could try and ult him, but I want to get this into turret. But I don't think that's happening. I should have altered the wave. Mm, this thing's actually pushing. She might try and stop this, and then I can burst her. Or I just yoink the whole turret. Oh my god. It could go into the next turret. Nah, it's too risky. It died. Well, I could just buy the Shadow Flame and skip the boots, but I mean, it's about time we need the boots. I need the mobility. Still good farm. This is a really good farm for playing Ezreal too because AP Ezreal sucks in farming. Like we have no wave clear besides our Q. But I mean, a Lich Bane wouldn't be bad in this combo. I just like building more AP so then it just spells one shot anyway. No, they have theft. We gotta play it again. Unfortunate. Well, whatever. I'll see you guys on game two. All right, guys, welcome to game two. We're against an Aurelia this time. We're going to do the same exact build, same exact runes. This might be a little bit harder, though. Aurelia is a bit beefier of a champ. She can build items to stop us from one-shotting her, too. But if we kill her early, we might still be able to pull, pull this build off. They have a squishy bot lane, and Kane might be squishy, too. So she pushed me in, so I'm going to have to tank this unless I want to lose minions. But I could hold these two here. Wait, what? She just based after one wave. What kind of strategies? Are oh, she's still here. I rarely know what I'm looking for, but I always find it. And she's just hard shoving with W, but I feel like she could probably push faster with her Q. Whoa there, Aurelia. Calm down. We know you're playing the strongest champ in the game. 
Yeah, see, I missed so many minions already just from her pushing in. That's how you counter as. I'm just gonna keep autoing her though. I do only have a tier, so we shouldn't be able to beat her, but she did take a turret shot. And there it is. Yeah, the thing about these OP champs is they have to play pretty aggressive. So, they can die early. That's good, though. We really needed that in this matchup. Otherwise, it's just doomed. Now we gotta find a way to push this wave in before she gets back. Alright, we're gonna max W again. I have the AD Warhammer. That'll help my wave clear a bit. Okay, back to mid lane. She got some armor. Okay. Little does she know I'm gonna transition into AP. Yeah, maxing E does reduce your cooldown a lot on Ezreal. Oh, almost. Can't get any of these, unfortunately. Don't know where she went. Hopefully not bot lane. I don't think she's far, though. There's not really anywhere for her to go. She's been gone so long, I feel like she could be bot lane. Oh, there she is. She's just taking a stroll. She's missing all of her mana. Harvest. You can maybe kill her again. Uh, Kane is somewhere above me. Okay, he's just camping top. This is good, though. Although, she's still, like, even with me in farm. So. I don't know what she was doing when she disappeared for, like, an hour. Ignite up in 25. She has no mana to kill me, so I can actually... Oh, how did that not hit? Close. My harvest. Ow. Okay, she's got a base. Maybe I'll try to stop it. Nah, I don't have Q up. Well, I do got my ult. Hold up, Kane's fighting this. I don't want to jump over that wall though, because Aurelia is probably there. Okay, she's back to full health. We got to be extremely cautious. Oh, you're right. She probably took the raptors. That's why she has some CS. Still, that's not the greatest thing to do early, but I guess she didn't miss that much CS. she just go top? Is top. Uh, oh, that sucks. Right here. Oh, so close. Well, Aurelia didn't get a kill, but Nasus really should have seen that coming. We pinged it like an hour before he got ganked. At least she didn't get the kill, though. What the hell? He died. Maybe she thought I was coming up there? Kane doesn't have ult.
Well, he's somewhere over here. Uh, Soraka's gonna be able to make it to him and save him. Okay, that was kind of close. Name's Ezreal. E -Z oh, you're dead. Nice, another kill. Good for our treasure hunter. I think Aurelia is just doing the chickens again. Or are they just spawning? I think it's going to be a blue cane, although he has Conqueror, so I'm not exactly sure, but he doesn't have Flash. But maybe she's at these chickens. No. Oh, he's Tank Aurelio. Okay, that's actually good and bad. I mean, I can't really one-shot her if she goes tank, but she's not going to instantly kill me if she lands a stun. I don't think she got dash reset. Nice. That's good. Yeah, okay. Tank Aurelia gives me some hope still. Because we've already killed her early, so we don't need to kill her later on. I need to kill their, their bot lane and the jungle and stuff, and that shouldn't be a problem. is going tank too. What is this? Are the broken bruiser items not good enough for you guys? Alright, I've got some good money. Uh oh. I don't think I can stop that. Earth? I don't think Earth is out. The only rotating mode I like is Nexus Blitz. Because the games are so short. Earth is like 50 50. You either have fun or you don't. Like, you, I have 3,000 gold. I need to base here. It's a cannon wave. It's whatever. Uh, boots. And then. Ooh. Let's do. Book, book. And mana. We lose a wave and a plating. Maybe two. They got Herald, that's not good. Really Our ADC is farming better than theirs, so she'll scale. Okay, I like Nikes. I'm ulting behind me. <laughs> it actually worked. If I would have ulted this way, I would have not hit her. Okay, Nasus kills Fiora. Yeah, W is hitting for a lot. Does her W still block magic damage? I gotta just flash. I think I would have died if he hit his W. I mean, there's nothing I could buy. I could buy Lost Chapter. Ludens is really gonna get me through my build. Fiddle's coming, but... The thing is, it's just not worth to waste so many resources on Aurelia, because even though she dies, she's not getting any weaker. And then, eventually, she might actually kill us in one of these trades, and then she's stronger than us, so... Just keep her controlled. We need to win the side lanes. At least she didn't go in. Okay, 
Nice. That's a good hit. Ward for Kane. We have a good vision bot side. If I had ignite up, we could kill her at this health. Man immune's almost stacked. Wow, that reached me. At least Fiddle is here to scare off. There we go. That's a good combo. Thought she was going to dodge the ult. I can get another plating. I think Kane's gonna come for me though. So I'm not staying. But you need to get out of there. Oh wait. I need 100 gold. I didn't know I was this close. Herald stop. I don't have anything to help this. Okay, we have uh, Ludens. Uh oh. I don't think Nasus wins this. That's not good. We're falling off pretty hard because their champs kind of outscale. I'm pretty sure Fior always beats Nasus. Kane's going to be stronger than Fiddle. I did. But now Aurelia gets shut down, or just a kill. That was clean. My cannon didn't have Q up. I mean, even if we lose this game, it's whatever. It's just part two anyway. At least this game will get to full build because they're not going to give up. I'm at my best when the world's on the brink of annihilation. I have met exactly one Demacian I'd like. Um, I can get large rod or I can get shoes. Might do the shoes. I mean, I can't base. Thing is, if they lane swap and Aurelia starts beating Nasus, we're in trouble. She shouldn't, though. Nasus could probably beat Aurelia, although she's pretty tanky. Okay, now she knows that stings. Oh, am I dead? No. Still at flash. Relax. I blindly teleport long distance. I need them to get bot turrets so their bot lane comes mid, because I, I can't do shit versus Fiora and Aurelia. Like even though I killed him, we're not accomplishing anything. The way we win this game, though, is team fight fiddle ult. Chunked. They got another herald, though. These heralds are big for them. They're opening up the map. They could probably just use the other one mid for me. What the fuck? Nasus needs Sunder. Mm, he beats her. Okay, that's good. She actually... She don't got that much damage. Get that thing. Okay. Herald's wasted. 
She could easily parry my combo. Okay, so Aurelia is not as strong as I thought. I thought she'd be able to beat Nastus there, but she landed everything and still died. I get alt bot. Ooh, Senna's caught up to Triss. You try and do this. Oh my god. Okay. Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> That's a gore drinker down. Oh my god! I forgot what it's like to hit a squishy champ. Oh, I thought she was dead. I thought she was dead. Oh, she's actually dead. Okay, I'm kind of cracked. <laughs> But at what cost? We lost our mid turret. Well, maybe if we keep beating him, we can get him to FF. We need to do this dragon before Kane comes back. Uh, I don't know where Aurelia is. If she comes here, I can't really help fiddle. I have to run over the wall. Okay, we got it. That's good. I mean, I'm playing perfect this game. I haven't died and I'm landing everything. It's going pretty well. The thing is, there's just there's no room for mistakes against their champions. As soon as I start dying to them, they they get out of control. Double Sunfire, triple armor boots. Okay, Aurelia's getting Blade of the Rune King next. With that, she'll be able to 1v1 people. We took one of the dragons, though, so that hits their scaling. Wait, why does it say there's a fire dragon next, but it it says Hextech Soul? I'm confused. Is that bugged? Ooh, gathering. How many stacks does she have? 44. That's not that high, right? I don't think that is. Yeah, see, they just straight up Dover. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Damn it. I wanted to hit Sona. We can fight this. Oh. Need a Nasus to frontline. See, like, we shit on Aurelia. This is why I hate playing against this champ so much. Doesn't matter what the fuck she builds. Doesn't matter what she does. She gets shit on, and she's still stronger than everybody. Such a scam. That's why the champion's so busted. We do need anti-heal. I just can't really build it since I'm burst. Oh, that sucks. Still did a lot of damage for not hitting anything. Well, you like group if they're gonna group. This is big. That's a big alt. Oof. There we go, that's all we needed. We just can't let them walk all over us. But look, see? Our Aurelia just 1v1 Nasus. Like, what are we supposed to do? Hopefully she's somewhat low. We just need more team fights. She's full health. But that solo kill just gave her blade. At 
The thing is, nobody on our team can 1v1 her. We always have to fight her as a group. She got healing reduction, that's good. I didn't want that, but like, she needed to die. Well, we might make it to death cap. <gasps> oh, I hit her. That's a one shot. See? Well, we have three items for the one shot, but we were one shotting the Ari with two items last game, weren't we? This build favors squishies. Tanks, you can't. I mean, you heard them, but I'm also 13 and 0. So if you weren't this far ahead, tanks wouldn't take any damage. Oh my god, okay, I heard him. Nice. That's just what we need, okay. We just win the team fight game. Aurelia and Fiora are just gonna do their things alone, and then we can beat the rest of them. A burst is anti heal. Oh my god, wait, what? Where the fuck did she just go? Holy shit. Oh, I'm on vision. Well, she died pretty quick there. What's she gonna build next? Probably Titanic. If she builds Death Stance, Death Stance is the item that just counters burst so hard. Ah, uh, missed. Ah, uh, Kane's still dragging. Not the end of the world, though. At least we're winning team fights. That's literally all we need to do. I think I have a death cap. Get out of there. Getting baited. Okay, we have death cap. My W does 864. My alt does 1100. This does 750. That is way over one-shotting their squishy champs. I get maybe one-shot Fiora because they don't have MR. They just have a lot of health. But they have abilities where they can block all the damage. I don't think they can see me right here. Ooh. Kane's gonna be common. I oh, know he's pushing mid. Doesn't have flash. Rip. Get out of here. Get him, Triss. Okay, this is one. This is one. Triss can just keep jumping. That's a big ult. If Fiddle was a little bit closer, that would have been huge. Oh no. I'm dead. That sucks. We went too far. See, those champs solo, though, are just so powerful, though. I just gave Kane full item, full death stance. I just leave him. He's dead. They might Baron. I just ate these fucking champs. We can shit on them in a fight, but it doesn't matter. They're so fucking tanky. They could do whatever they want. Like, they build full tank and one-shot me, but I have to build a glass cannon to even dent them. I shouldn't have got that close, but I didn't know Kane was still full health. I think if this game goes longer, we just lose. I have we have to just five v five and ace him and end because like they just they're too strong. 
Because if, if even one of them lives, we just can't get any objectives or anything. Man. Well, now Kane's gonna only look for me. Oh, goodbye. Need somebody bot. Nasus needs to, like, match the split. Okay, TP wasn't needed, but... Damn, she's fast. Oh, Fiddle died? We can't really do anything, because Triss does, like, negative damage. Oh, I should have went in deeper, but, like, I would have died. You kill this guy. He's got death stance, so let's see how much he takes. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be really low. Where's my nasus? Okay, we kill him. We have to like go Baron. Just back up. They're low, we need to fight. We just, we lack engage. So low. Uh, I guess we gotta just do dragon, cause they'll get it if we don't. Man, this is exactly what I didn't want. Of course, we get the game that goes long on the second one always. Like the first one never works out, but we get a good game. And then it goes too short. And then we get a 50 minute game, so then the video is an hour long. Pretty sure we're on vision. We should just go try and get a Fiora. Okay, never mind. Sona walked into them. He's gonna go top now. He shouldn't have upgraded this. I don't think it does the extra healing reduction. It's just, we're getting picks like crazy. We don't have the team brain to like group and go for Baron. Like, after we picked the Sona, we should have just ran straight to Baron. But we can't get people on board fast enough, so the enemy team just has so much free time to do whatever they want. They don't get punished for dying. Whereas if I die, we literally just lose the game. Look at that. Fucking tank Aurelia just one-shots her. Dude, that's not even, like, worth. Unless Nasus can beat her. We gotta just go mid. Hopefully Kane's top. Yeah, Kane's top. Where the fuck is my team? Fiddle, please. Dear God. Help us push. I feel like I'm alone in this, man. We could have already been on the turret if he wasn't just AFK. I should have used my W on the turret. Okay, we need to leave. The healing on their team. Triss is probably gonna die to Fiora. We need to keep running. Keep running. They're gonna chase. I literally called what was going to happen this game at like two minutes in. I can tell just by team comps like how hard this game is going to be. But I'm I'm literally 99.9% .9 of our damage. Yeah, if that hit her she would have died. That's lame. 
Dora Flash. Now this guy's dead. Eh, maybe not. It's just like, how could we be so far ahead in score and gold and all that, but still just can't do a single thing versus him? Oh my god, wait. He actually healed. Wait, Rocket died. I have 20 of our 27 kills. Good hourglass, that was good. Good shit, Fiddle. It's still dope. We kill them, what do we get? Absolutely nothing. They're coming out on top even though they're losing fights. That's the thing that tilts me so much. Like, we need to do these barons. We need to do the objective. We need to team fight them and win because these splitting games, they're winning too hard. He needs to just stand still and keep queuing her. Okay, Trist. What on earth are you doing? I have four toddlers. Aiden's gonna try and get me through the wall. She's not even building right either. She's building pure attack speed versus tanks. That doesn't give you damage. We need Lordons, we need IE. Don't even hurt her. That one shot Sona if it hits her. Unfortunately, it didn't. And look, Aurelia's splitting bot while we're getting fucked. Do you live? Keep going. We're losing our base, but like we need to get Baron. I don't even need to hit W at this point. I'm so fed. But like, we fucking I quadra killed him. We fucking aced him. We're still losing. We needed Nasus. God damn it, man. We need Fiddle or Nasus. This is just tilting me so much because I know we're gonna lose this game even though I'm playing perfectly. We're not gonna be able to get this. Jeez. Uh, I'm like tilting off the face of the earth. I really don't even want to fucking play this one. Should have kept hitting it. All right, we tried. I I concede. We just lost. It's just slow loss. It was a good try, but it's literally 1v5. I can't get one teammate. I'm so upset. But hey, I shit on them. It's just, it's champ gap, man. Like, they can get shit on with those champs and not get punished. So unfortunate. Can I W the Baron? I don't think you can W the Baron. Fifty four K damage. Yep. Here's our rune stats. Alright, see you later. Thanks for watching if you're still here.